What's up? Here we go again. Part 3 of the Frozen Bowl TV Dinners. This time up to bat, we've got Marie Callender. I thought Marie Callender was in a different category, a different caliber, a different weight class than Banquet or Hungry Man. Whenever I think of Marie Callender, I think of those little pie slices you see in the Frozen section, which to my knowledge, I've never heard anybody ever say anything negative about, ever. So I was a little stunned, surprised, bewildered that Marie Callender has decided to throw their hat into the Frozen Bowl racket. So, fuck it, why not? Let's try it. Let's introduce them one by one. Sesame Seed Chicken Bowl. Mmm. Swedish Meatballs. Grilled Chicken Alfredo Bake. Um, bowl. The pulled pork mac and cheese and then finally a straight up mac and cheese bowl start off with we're gonna go with the sesame chicken bowl tempura white meat chicken fritters with noodles and carrots and a sweet sesame sauce there it is whatever microwave five and a half minutes this looks like some give a shit went into that. And even the back looks, you know, rather appetizing. It's not like Banquet or Hungry Man where it's just like, name, food, eat it, you're hungry. I have been tricked before because Hungry Man and Banquet are notorious for putting, they pretty much lie to you sometimes. So we have to keep that in mind. Well, we'll see how old Marie holds up in the long run. Here we go. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. The noodles and the sauce um, were separated, so you have to stir it all together. Not a lot of sauce, it looked like a lot of sauce, but I mean, really, once you mix it all up. Already we're off to a good start, because as you might know, mm, I don't like a lot of sauce in my saucy food. If the sauce is there to help, let it help, but don't let it overpower, that's my rule. Let's try these noodly noodles. What's the difference between this shit and a spaghetti noodle? I mean, it's a noodly noodle. What's that taste? Um, what they call it? Sesame sauce? I don't know about that. Sweet and sour sauce is what it reminds me of. It seems that it's pretty universal, but with these TV dinners anyway, expect more sweet than sour. If you are a fan of the sour, this will bum you out. It is pretty tart, so I guess you could argue that that's sour, but trust me, it's it's not sour at all. Get a little bit of everything in. Got a little bit of that tempura cheeky and noodly noodles with some carrots. Mmm. Mm hmm Um, this is a pretty solid little thing. This is an American's interpretation of what Asian food is probably like. Let that sink in. Kicking this thing's ass. This is really good. Oh, yeah. That's good shit. Not much more to say than that. It's always good to start off on, you know, a high note. But we're still hungry. So, round two. The Swedish Meatball Bowl. With freshly made pasta. Tossed with sour cream sauce. Does she expect me to believe that this is freshly made pasta? No, no. This was pre-made pasta that was frozen and packaged. Let's not, let's not throw the word fresh around. But anyway, microwave. Real sour cream sauce made from scratch. What the hell does that mean, made from scratch? You know, I'm like, I'm gonna really scratch myself, making some Food. Or maybe it's like, oh, I just scratched this together. That sounds fucking horrible. Stop saying made from scratch. It doesn't make any sense. And when you try to think about it for more than a minute, it gets gross. Fucking hungry, man. I hate waiting on this bullshit. I want my fucking food. There's a lot of sauce. Um, and there is not many noodles. I would almost call this underfilled. Because there's a lot of sauce. It's pooling up everywhere. I mean... It looks pukey. Most sauce food is. Oh, I don't like that. The sour cream sauce tastes sour. 
I don't know, man. Oh, man, like, you know, let's have some noodle with it. Maybe that helps it. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it turns into slime. And it tastes like sour cream. I don't know about this one. No. Mush. The noodles are fucking gross. Alright, let's move on. This is actually the star of the show. The meatballs. Are they Swedish meatballs? I don't know. Well, the, these meatballs are wasted. Because the meatballs are really good. Get it all on one thing. Yeah, we got a meatball, fuck ass load of noodle. Like, it is better when you combine everything together. I can't get past that fucking sour taste. Like, I don't like it. I mean, sour cream sauce is weird. The fucking noodles are mush. But the meatballs are good. I gave the rest of that one to my wife, but I'm still hungry. So, we've got... Marie Callender's Mac and Cheese Bowl. Pasta smothered in a smooth and creamy Vermont white cheddar cheese sauce. I don't fucking know anything about Vermont. I don't even know what the hell Vermont is. Well, it looks funny. And they look like fuzzy fur cheese. This one just says right off the back, cook five and a half minutes, quit playing around. Yes, master. TV macaroni and cheese, no matter who makes it, is questionable at best. It's either good or the worst. Two very hard swinging pendulums going on there. I hope it's not the worst. I don't know what to say. Well, it's very crummy. <laughs> like, <laughs> it tastes like cheese, that's for sure. Not like a soupy cheese either. This is like, you know, some dense mac. So the crumbs do help with the texture. The noodles are mushy, uh, but this real cheese plus breadcrumbs make it a little bit more palatable. This is very good. This is a good mac and cheese. Like, you know, I always thought those crumbs were like the cheese, like, I don't know, not burning, but, you know, drying out, shriveling, and turning into crumb bits on top, you know? The crumbs are crumbs. They taste like the cheese sauce. This is doing the trick. Not gonna fuck out. That'll do it for as of right now because I'm now full. So while I go in the other room and have a food nap, I'll come back when it's time to have the rest of them. So, what's up? We're back, nice and refreshed by the way. Now it's time to get into the other meal. Chicken Alfredo baked bowl. Hmm. I don't know. Chicken breast with freshly made pasta and vegetables and a creamy four cheese Alfredo sauce. Bake. Alfredo bake. We're not baking this. We're microwaving it. Let's open it up first. And then we'll put it in the microwave. Ready. It smelled pretty good and there's quite a lot of color in this thing. Okay, the noodles are not mushy. Try a piece of that burn broccoli. Huh? Yeah. Ow! That was hot. Bark so good, not too bad. Some of that chick bird, it's, you know, just cut up, diced up piece of chick. Mm hmm I was ready to give this thing to business. I was ready to just tear into it and not like it at all. You know what? It's not bad. It's really not that bad. The Alfredo sauce is good. It's not watery. It says that the Alfredo sauce is a blend of Romano, mozzarella, and white cheddar cheese. So that could be why it tastes like cheese, because it's made with three different kinds. Oh uh, yeah, I am not offended by this meal hardly at all, really. And when we come back, we're going to get into our final meal, and then we'll finally rank these bastards and see how they stack up. So, the final meal is going to be 
the Kansas City style pulled pork and mac and cheese. I don't know what's up with Kansas City. Maybe they really do have good barbecue, but honestly, it has not translated well um, throughout the TV dinners. Very orangey, reddy, red um, microwave. Fruit pectin is one of the ingredients. Tartonic acid, diamond mononitrate. Yeah, no artificial anything in here. It's all natural. All right, here we are. Get it all mixed in there. Mmm, mm hmm At least it tastes good. It tastes fun to have just the meat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cheese sauce mixed with the barbecue sauce gives it like this Chef Boyardee fake marinara smell and taste. I'm not a really big fan of how the cheese and the barbecue sauce taste together. This meat is probably just meatballs from another meal ran through a grinder. I feel like you just, you can take a can of Chef Boyardee and dump it in a bowl and get the same result. I don't feel like this is doing anything different. Well, hell yeah, that was that. Um, not too bad, they really weren't that awful, but that's the thing. I always thought Marie Callender was a, you know, a better choice when you're going for frozen food. They're just about the same as Banquet or Hungry Man. So let's rank these things. Let's go down the line, starting with the first one that I absolutely did not like and ending with the best one. So, fifth place loser is gonna be the fucking Swedish meatballs. I mean, honestly, it's just beef and noodles. Beef and noodles in the, you know, in gravy don't need to taste sour. This is gross. Fourth place is gonna be the meal that just had the pulled pork and mac and cheese. This meal is kind of a lie. Pulled pork? It's not pulled, it's pulverized or ground or whatever. The cheese and barbecue sauce mixed together tastes like Chef Boyardee. I am not a big fan of Chef Boyardee. You guys out there might be a fan of Chef Boyardee taste. If you are, give this one a look. You might like it. Third place is gonna be your sesame chicken bowl. This wasn't bad. It's when you have authentic food versus the cheap, you know, TV dinner version. This feels like a smack in the face, you know? And that's really the only reason this place is lower is that I've had 10 million times better versions of this. Second place runner up is gonna be your mac and cheese bowl. This is a very solid mac and cheese dinner. Mac and cheese done right is always good. Which leaves our winner to be the chicken alfredo bake bowl thing. Not one complaint here. The alfredo sauce was very creamy. It wasn't watery at all. The noodles were good. Um. Carrots, broccoli, all that shit in there. Every, everything about this, I was actually pleasantly surprised with this. And probably would buy again. So that's it. That's what I think of Marie Callender's bowl meals. If you see them out in the store, give them a try if any of these look good. The package is the only thing that makes it stand out. Because look, look at the green and cushion butters. It looks like grandma made it, you know? Made with love. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Have a good day.